This is the first start here recording for this Physics 115 Physical Science course. I show several of these start here recordings for a total of maybe 20 to 30 minutes and I really ask of you, I almost require it that you watch these because in these 20 to 30 minutes I explain as much as I possibly can about this course. And in doing so, I will be able to eliminate a lot of individual emails that I would otherwise have to send to students and answer certain questions because these questions are answered within this recording and the next and perhaps there is a third recording. So pay close attention to what I talk about in this one here on the syllabus and on is this course right for me document and on the requirements for this class. So this is the syllabus. It's a contract that you have to abide by, that I have to abide by. Now I record this here in late April so there may be a few things that are still subject to change so make sure that in late May when the class actually starts that you read through the syllabus thoroughly. Okay. For example, one of the things that may change is these recitation hours that you're encouraged to attend. Um, perhaps they're going to be on a Thursday evening, um, but I may change that. My phone number is here, my email is here, av at uaa.alaska.edu, and you are required to use your UAA email account as well. I will not respond to Hotmail and Yahoo accounts. You may use another education or military account, but UAA account is preferred. Some of these things you can read through your read through by yourself. KPC cancellation number, for example, is not going to apply. I just need to put it on the syllabus um, because we're not going to meet in person anyway, and I don't have any s required scheduled hours. Course description you can read through yourself. Prerequisite you have to have Math 055 done, and usually as a prerequisite you are also enrolled in Physics 115 lab. You don't have to, but that's usually the case. You can read through the instructional goals yourself, and you can read through the student outcomes yourself. When you attend the recitation hours, um, let's see. Oh yeah, students are expected to watch the recorded video supplied on Blackboard, and then with several extra questions on each quiz, I ensure that you have watched them. You are expected to read through the chapter in the textbook. You, when you attend the recitation hours, there it is, um, you are asked to be prepared and ask relevant questions. You have to pay attention to everything that's posted on Blackboard. This one here I already mentioned, I, send, I might have to send emails to you, and so you're required to check your UAA webmail account. I schedule a number of recitation hours, and you are encouraged to attend them, and you're just about required to watch them, actually, the recordings, because quizzes refer to them. You are. You have to take a proctored exam, and you have to sign up for a proctor to do so. And I explain that a little bit later. By the way, um, let me just show the UAA webmail account. This is it. There we go. And the proctor form is available here, and you would click on. Proctor form online, and then fill out this one here. Or if you're not living in Alaska, you have to fill out this alternate proctor form. And send that one in. Okay, 
here's the grading scale, here are the evaluation tools, and in the next recording I will go over these thoroughly as I navigate you through the course. So there's this document, this is online course right for me. Homework, homework is assigned but notice that you don't hand it in, but quizzes are assigned, practice tests, proctored exams, pre-labs, labs, and post-labs, and a proctored final exam. You go to mbsdirect.net to order your textbook and here it is. Type in Kenai, search, there's Kenai Palanza College. Order my books, Summer 09, there's a continue button on the side scroll down to physics 115 submit the course IDs and there it is conceptual physics 10th edition from Paul Hewitt the lab manual is provided by me it's available on blackboard and I will go over that in a um, Another recording, register free of charge at Physics Place, that um, registration information is in front of your textbook. There are Mechanical Universe videos that are being used on Google Video, um, but you can also watch them at learner.org, we register for free. Headphones with microphone for the eLife recitation hours. Um, check out Illuminate Live Support and download eLife the first time around. These things are required, especially for the lab. Lab materials will be sent to you, therefore I will need to have your mailing address. You need to buy some lab materials yourself, and I will go over the supply list later on. You need a digital camera to take photos of yourself and each experiment. If you don't have one, ask a friend. And this one here you can check at Distance Education UIA.Alaska. Here it is, computer requirements. And you go down the list, and actually this would be for my computer, and it's making a check mark there that, well, that's what I got. So yours might look different. I actually don't need a shockwave player to play my own stuff here. Windows Media Player is, I believe, what I need. Okay, class atmosphere and safety. Um, pretty much it's just an etiquette that uh, um, applies to you and us. Go over that in a moment. Academic success and su support services. And then here is the topical and chronological outline. Notice the due dates are on the left. And then here are the chapters and the labs that have to be done by those due dates. Here's the homework that I said, do it, but don't hand it in. And I noticed just there's a mistake here. I have to revise that somewhat. Heat and electricity and magnetism. <coughs> and that has to be, s optics has to go in there. You must also be aware of the following. Proctor information. I showed you that a moment ago. Notice that I actually have nothing to do with it you do it yourself, you fill out the proctor form, they send the information passwords to your chosen proctor site, you must set up the appointments with your chosen proctor site. You must send me an email that contains a document entitled this, this online course right for me, and I will cover that in the next recording, as I notice that I'm running out of time here, close to 10 minutes already, and this is what you have to include on there, and as I said, I'll do that in the next recording. UAA's IT helps with technical difficulties. Don't ask me. My expertise is in the stuff that I teach and teaching it online, but not internet and computers. Late work is generally not accepted. You can work ahead of time. You can be proactive. You don't have to procrastinate. And I will start talking about the netiquette in the next recording.